looks like today we got something in the mail. So this is a induction heater. But what it this does is an induction coil. That's what this looks like. I guess these are chokes or whatever this is. I'm not sure exactly. All right, so this is the coil to it. So this coil here solders onto here like this. So I guess we're gonna have to break out the solder and iron and solder this up. I think the outputs are over here too. You could connect it to there, but you'd have to bend it. Well, I guess you could fit it in there somehow, but I think it'd be better to go straight to here for a good connection because that's where where the capacitors connect straight to there. So that would be a perfect place to uh, solder this baby up and uh, let's see if it works. All right, so we broke out the solder iron here. Let's turn it on. I don't know what temperature I need. I don't know, 550 is probably fine. And we'll add some solder to here, and then we'll put the coil on. I don't think it really matters which way it goes, so. Okay, so one of them's on. Pretty good, I think. And that's it. And that's how it works. I had to crank up the iron a little bit to get hot enough because there's so much metal to, to solder. But yeah, it turned out pretty good. Coils to be straight with the board. Looks good. So now we need to connect power to it right here and it should be ready to go. Okay, something turned on and we got a little light that is glowing right there. That's nice. So I guess it's running right now. It's 826 milliamps is drawing. Well, let's put something in there and see. Well, I do have this thing just for testing. Let's see. Yep, it's definitely working. Oh man, that, that's already warm just sticking it in there for a second. One, two, three. Wow, impressive. Warms up real fast. It's actually hot. Okay, so I got a screwdriver. I'm gonna put it in there. Let's see what happens. Okay, two amps at about 7.2 volts. So what are we talking about? 15 watts? That's not very much power. So it's probably not going to heat very fast, but it probably will heat. Can't tell. I can smell it. It's definitely hot. All right, let me see if I can find something thinner. Okay, guys, we found something really thin. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, there goes instantly red now. Instantly red. Look at that. Instantly red. Awesome. That is so cool. Oh, I can smell the screwdriver. So it's definitely heating up. Probably going to take it a little while though to heat it up. I don't think it's going to glow red though. Actually, it might after a while. Amperage is steady. I'm just going to leave it at that. Let's see. Can't really tell that it changed color or anything from the heat too much. Let's put it in this cup see what happens. Oh yeah. That was definitely hot. It's sizzling in the water. So yeah, it's capable of some stuff for sure. Uh, I'm sure there's uh, quite a few uses you can do with this. I got a few ideas already, so but yeah, I'm very happy with it. Actually, a side note, um, I've heard that if you don't have the correct power to this, it won't work right, or you could blow it up. Make sure that you run it off a battery or a very good start voltage, uh, amperage kind of power supply if you're going to use a power supply. So 